That morning, an unusual stillness hung over the streets of Fremont, as if the city itself were holding its breath. A small test car suddenly appeared from behind a passing truck, unassuming yet brimming with significance. To most passers-by it was just another prototype, but those familiar with the brand immediately recognized the sharp lines and compact form of a vehicle that was more than a simple experiment. It was neither a derivative of the Model 3 nor a scaled-down version of the Model Y. It was Elon Musk's long-awaited promise, finally in motion. Tesla's most ambitious step yet toward global electric mobility. Bathed in the warm California sun, the car appeared almost modest, yet every curve of its body hinted at a fundamental shift, a silent revolution that goes unnoticed until it has begun. The Model 2 now stood exposed to the onlookers' cameras, revealing not just a new car, but a glimpse into the future. The atmosphere was reminiscent of the moment a lost artifact is rediscovered, curious, electrifying, full of anticipation. Even before any press release was issued, it was clear. The world had already changed in that instant. Behind the factory walls of Tesla, a palpable sense of concentration reigned. Engineers meticulously monitored every sound, every reaction, every measurement curve of the prototype. Screens displayed graphs that were meaningless to the outside world, but which, to the team, represented the difference between success and failure. The atmosphere in the development department was almost celebratory, as if everyone were aware that they were working on the foundation of a future milestone. This wasn't just about a new car. It was an attempt to finally make electric mobility accessible to the masses, something that politics and industry had postponed for years. Every vibration in the chassis, Every sound from the interior and every slight change in the motor's behavior was documented. The work was a balancing act between vision and reality. Internally, everyone knew the triumph of this vehicle would revolutionize the industry like no model before it. Failure, on the other hand, would cost valuable years. Therefore, perfection was not just a goal, but a necessity. Meanwhile, the Internet was buzzing with speculation. In forums, social networks, and tech channels, blurry photos were analyzed, pixels were magnified, and wild theories were put forward. No one expected that the biggest surprise wouldn't be the design, but the price. When the figure 15,090 first leaked, even die-hard fans reacted skeptically. Many considered the information a fake, until several sources confirmed it. This price hit like a bolt of lightning and changed the market logic overnight. It wasn't simply cheap. It was a provocation, a direct attack on the notion that electric cars were inevitably expensive. Tesla made it clear that future mobility didn't have to be exclusive. And in that moment, something unexpected emerged. Genuine hope. Hope that a technological shift could finally become accessible to everyone. Public interest in the technical decisions behind the low price quickly grew. Experts began to explain how Tesla had managed to reduce costs without sacrificing range or safety. The omission of the large glass roof wasn't simply a cost-cutting measure, but a deliberate design and stability concept. The fabric seats, described by some as basic, were designed for durability, weight, and everyday usability. The simplified acoustic glass, while not luxurious, allowed for more affordable production without compromising safety. Even the understated interior lighting followed a philosophy, a focus on the essentials. Many realized for the first time that efficiency doesn't have to mean compromise. The reduction to the essentials felt modern, honest, and functional, and it was precisely this honesty that gave the Model 2 its charm. The car's exterior design also sparked discussion. The design language was clean, compact, and aerodynamic, clearly influenced by Tesla's experience of recent decades. The absence of a traditional grille gave the front a restrained, almost meditative appearance. While the narrow headlights conveyed a determined look, the crossover styling appeared robust, yet light and modern. Although smaller than other Tesla models, the proportions conveyed an impression of presence and stability. The wheels, specifically designed for efficiency, completed the futuristic overall impression. While the rear remained partially concealed and speculation about a continuous light strip ignited debate, the Model 2 wasn't seeking harmony. It was seeking progress. The targeted range surprised even optimists. Despite a comparatively small battery, the car was expected to achieve around 470 kilometers, a figure many more expensive models couldn't match. Acceleration from 0 to 100 km/h in approximately 7 seconds made the car practical and dynamic, 
While the top speed of 180 km h was perfectly adequate, the Model 2 wasn't intended to be a sports car, but rather an efficient vehicle for millions of people. The balance of performance, range, and price signaled a new phase in understanding what an electric car should deliver. This made the Model 2 the first truly mass-market EV without losing its Tesla character. But the real shock came later. Reports indicated that the Model 2 could be the first Tesla vehicle equipped with the long-awaited aluminum-ion battery, a technology that had been considered a futuristic rumor for years. The idea of replacing lithium with aluminum was not only bold, but potentially revolutionary. Aluminum is widely available, inexpensive, and more environmentally friendly to extract. Initial tests with energy densities around $450 GHKGs caused a stir in the scientific community. A projected lifespan of up to 25 years made it clear that these batteries could open a completely new chapter. If Tesla actually puts this technology into mass production, the Model 2 would mark the start of a new era, a moment that would transform the entire industry. The advantages went far beyond range and cost. Aluminum batteries promised exceptional temperature stability, virtually eliminating typical problems like overheating or power loss in winter. The reduced fire risk and increased robustness could lower insurance costs and significantly extend the vehicle's lifespan. Many industry experts praised Tesla's decision not to test such advanced technology in luxury models, but to make it directly available to the mass market. It was a bold departure from traditional strategies, and precisely what has always characterized Elon Musk, bottom-up innovation. The new electric motor that Tesla designed specifically for the Model 2 impressed above all with its simple construction and extremely low production costs. Priced at around $1,000, it was significantly cheaper than conventional drive systems, made possible by the use of ferret magnets and the elimination of expensive rare earth elements. This decision not only lowered the final price, but also protected Tesla from geopolitical dependencies that could destabilize the global raw materials market at any time. While the motor didn't quite reach the peak performance of more expensive units, this difference was barely noticeable in everyday driving. Its focus was on efficiency, robustness, and a smooth ride, exactly what buyers of an affordable electric car expected. Tesla had thus created a drive concept that was a perfect fit for the Model 2 and set a new standard for the industry. Tesla's deliberate omission of luxurious features sparked heated debate among longtime fans, especially those who associated the brand with futuristic interiors and extravagant materials. But the Model 2 wasn't intended to be a stripped-down version of existing models. It followed a clear mission, maximum affordability. The absence of panoramic glass, premium leather, or eye-catching accents wasn't a sign of cost-cutting, but rather part of a precise cost strategy that made the historically low entry price possible. The understated interior lighting underscored Tesla's priorities, function over show. Even the minimalist audio system was an honest statement. No unnecessary frills just what truly matters. Every omitted component was a building block in the vision of creating the most accessible electric car of the modern era. And paradoxically, it was precisely this honesty that attracted new customer segments who saw genuine value in the clarity of the design. With each new reveal of the interior, the boldness of Tesla's approach became increasingly apparent. While the industry often succumbed to the urge for luxurious materials, the Model 2 prioritized practicality without compromise. The pared-down cockpit was deliberately simple, devoid of superfluous embellishments, a design that eliminated distractions and conveyed a clear message, less is enough. Despite the simple glass and the not overly insulated cabin, the vehicle exuded a sense of honesty, as if it were saying it was built for everyday use, not for show. The large display remained the technological heart of the car and continued to embody Tesla's DNA. To some purists, the interior might have seemed spartan, but many buyers recognized the logic behind it. It wasn't cheap. It was sensible. And it was precisely this distinction that made the concept so compelling. As the test drives continued, it became increasingly clear to experts how cleverly Tesla had redefined the concept of affordable. What appeared to outsiders as radical simplification was, in reality, a well-thought-out strategy to appeal to people who had previously only dreamed of electric cars. Every ergonomic decision, every simplification, and every choice of materials was aimed at reaching a broad customer base. Young adults, families, 
commuters, all those who wanted an EV but could never afford one. The Model 2 opened a door for them that had previously remained closed. Suddenly, electric mobility was no longer exclusive. The impression arose that Tesla was bringing not just a car, but a societal shift to the road. At the same time, wind tunnel studies confirmed that the compact shape was not a sign of limitation. It was the result of precise engineering. Every line of the body appeared to be deliberately designed to improve aerodynamics. Despite being a fifth smaller than the Model Y, the Model 2 didn't feel small at all. On the contrary, it had a confident presence that surprised testers. Test drives revealed agile handling and an immediate response to every driver input, a feeling of control and reliability. The car conveyed character, small but stable, understated yet elegant, compact yet assertive. For many, it was exactly what they had been waiting for for years, an affordable electric car that felt neither boring nor restrictive. Behind the closed doors of the factory, the pressure mounted daily as November 2025 drew nearer the date for the official unveiling of the Model 2. The atmosphere was one of intense meetings, rapid adjustments, and discussions over details that seemed insignificant to outsiders but were crucial to Tesla's image. Elon Musk personally oversaw several key areas, particularly those surrounding the revolutionary aluminum battery, a project that demanded immense courage and calculated risk. It was palpable that everyone in the company understood the magnitude of this moment. This wasn't simply the creation of a new product. This was the foundation for the next major phase of electric mobility. And Tesla knew it was building something that would shape the future for years to come. While Tesla worked tirelessly on the Model 2, competitors worldwide watched its development with growing nervousness. Many manufacturers struggled to comprehend how Tesla could so drastically reduce production costs without compromising the fundamental strengths of an electric vehicle. Brands that had planned their entry-level models for 2027 or 2028 were forced to restructure their timelines, fearing that Tesla could completely dominate the market before their own vehicles were even ready. The industry, which had once viewed Tesla as an exclusive premium provider, now suddenly saw its most vulnerable zone threatened, the mass market, and the greatest danger stemmed not only from the price, but from the underlying technologies. An affordable and long-lasting battery a motor that didn't require rare raw materials, a compact model with the range of a large electric SUV. The manufacturers weren't facing a product, but an idea, and ideas are harder to fight than cars. In parallel, researchers in the energy sector began intensively discussing the potential global impact of the aluminum battery. Many were convinced that this technology, should it gain traction, could revolutionize the entire battery industry. Since aluminum is inexpensive, abundant, and easily recyclable, widespread adoption could significantly accelerate the global energy transition. Countries that had previously played a minor role in the raw materials sector could suddenly become new production hubs. Regions with large aluminum deposits would have the opportunity for economic growth. With the introduction of this battery in a mass-market vehicle, Tesla initiated a global transformation that extended far beyond the automotive industry. It seemed as if the company was reshaping not only vehicle technology, but also the geopolitical landscape of electric mobility. The first real-world tests confirmed the hopes of many experts. The aluminum battery demonstrated stable performance even at extreme temperatures, while lithium systems often suffered a noticeable loss of efficiency in harsh winters. The new system remained impressively consistent. This garnered significant attention in cold regions, and equally so in areas with extreme summer temperatures. The added thermal robustness opened doors to new markets for the Model 2, especially where charging infrastructure is unreliable. With its long lifespan, enhanced safety, and resilience to frequent charging, the Model 2 was increasingly perceived as a universal electric vehicle, easily adaptable to different countries and climatic conditions. It was a global all-rounder in a world full of challenges, and that's precisely what made it so appealing. With each new unveiling, the realization grew that the Model 2 was far more than just a new vehicle. It evolved into a symbol of a more accessible future. Families saw it as an opportunity to own an electric car for the first time. Young buyers saw it as a realistic entry point into modern technology. People who had previously only driven lower-priced combustion engine vehicles suddenly began to dream of high-tech mobility. The Model 2 inspired not only individuals, but also social change. 
an affordable, sustainable vehicle has the potential to influence cities, transform transportation structures, and establish new mobility habits. It was not just a technological product, but a cultural movement, an engine for change that extended far beyond the roads. Meanwhile, economic experts worldwide simulated possible future scenarios if the Model 2 achieved high sales figures, particularly in Europe, North America, and South America. The analyses clearly showed that Tesla could gain millions of new customers in a very short time and dominate a market segment that had previously been beyond its reach. This success would put pressure on governments, expansion of charging infrastructure, faster approvals, more subsidies. An affordable electric vehicle would trigger a silent but powerful earthquake in the global automotive market. The entire value chain, from raw materials to production to software, would feel the effects. And the deeper analysts delved into the numbers, the clearer it became. Tesla was about to repeat the Model 3 phenomenon, only this time on a far greater scale. The Model 2 was the catalyst for a tectonic shift. While the global market waited with bated breath, Tesla worked on a presentation that would convey not only the technical specifications but also the significance of this project. The video had to show more than just an affordable car. It had to tell a story. Hope. Courage. The moment in Fremont, when the first prototype appeared, the message that electric mobility was no longer a privilege. As the day of the unveiling drew nearer, it became increasingly clear that the Model 2 wasn't just about Tesla. It was about everyone who wanted a future that was more sustainable and attainable. And for the first time, it looked as if that wish was about to become a reality.